This is part two of the wandering in the Blue Reef Aquarium in Yuki. And I'm continuing from where I left off in part one. So if you've not seen that yet, please just click on the link in the description because it's quite a beautiful <laughs> part. It would be a shame for you to miss out. Anyway, we are in the Amazonian part. And what you can see is a caiman and some turtles sun bathing or rather lamb bathing <laughs> they need to keep warm uh, and there's a little cute one on the back of a bigger one <laughs> they are hilarious i've been here for quite some time for about an hour just inside this area because I've been watching them and filming and then I had a disaster <laughs> with <laughs> my memory cards and that took me like half an hour to sort out but anyway that's not the point I'm here to show you beautiful things gorgeous creatures I'm gonna show the tank again from the other side when I get to go down but whilst I'm up here, there's some other interesting things I want to show you. So let's go and see those. This little dude hanging here in the corner is a Congo frog. And he just swam away. Oh, there you are. He never comes out of the water just to take a breath and um, it's very very cute there you go have a breath and back down again <laughs> it's very small oh it became very active suddenly His body is about three centimeters long, head included, plus legs, so just so you have an idea. He's a little cuter boy. There he is. Okay, let's see something else. Another interesting creature. These are the Spanish ribbed newts. They're the biggest sort of newts that live in Europe. If the water is warm enough, that's what he likes. And if the water is colder, between 5 to 10 um, degrees, then they hibernate. There's another one here. Let's see if you look at his tail. Ta-da! They're very interesting looking. I like little creatures that are more peculiar than others. <laughs> but they're all gorgeous and unique, so I like them all. Let's see your face. Yeah. He's cute. Are you happy? In your entirety. There we go. He's posing perfectly for us. Okay. There's a bigger creature. Very interesting. Now, it's only showing us his tummy. It's a Suriname toad. They're very, very interesting creatures. I think this is the first time I actually am seeing one alive. Because I've only seen them in natural history museums, all pickled in formaldehyde and whatever else they use. I would love for you to show us the rest of you, but again we can't command them around let's have a look at your toes if I can fix the camera 
Okay, there's something interesting there. It has star-shaped sensory organs on the end of its fingers, and this is for him to be able to detect food. Well, that's a pretty cool thing. Let's try and look at the other one. Well, again, it's Tommy, and he's holding his head up above the water where I can't see it or turn to show it to you. But it has a very interesting back, and it's a shame that we can't get to see that now, because if I remember correctly from other things, other times that I read things about them, when it's time for them to have babies, the eggs are on its back. It's like under a layer of skin. And when they hatch, they actually throw through the skin, which is quite... Ah! But there you go. That's another interesting way of having babies. All right, Cody. Bye. Now, here we have some of my most favorite interesting creatures. Axolots. Sorry, it's just I'm trying to... Oh, the mirroring of the thingy is not helping. Okay, let's try and look at this one. You can see two of them here. Oh. Sorry guys, I'm trying. Because they're very, very interesting. And cute. Look, I think we can see his little eye and face partially. They have interesting gills. I think they are originally from Mexico, but now you can find them in other places too. I know that a long time ago I read about stuff that alchemists used to do with them. They used to study them, Middle Ages, post-medieval and all that. Because as these ones stay forever young. <laughs> as they keep their larval appearance they were trying to uncover the secret to eternal life <laughs> well that's that, I'm sorry that this capture is not the best but the light, the mirroring and all that doesn't help anyway I would suggest you guys just type in to Google axolots and see what comes up because you will have really cute photos of them. They come usually in different shapes and sizes and colors. And they're interesting creatures. In the meantime, the Suriname toad slid down a bit. So at least we can see it as a whole head and all. Still on his tummy, but there we go. Okay. And here we can have a better look at the head of the Kaiman and the turtles. And there's more of them down there. And there's another Kaiman on the other side, I'm gonna show it to you. Since I've been here, as I said, it's been well over an hour. They have not moved an inch. If I wouldn't know better, <laughs> I would say that they are just <laughs> rubber things, but I know they are very much alive. But this is how they are. They just need their heat to warm them up. Okay. One more shot with the fishies. These little flat ones were very active, but in the last half an hour they are having a little rest. 
They all look like they have turned into stone. <laughs> they are gorgeous, all of them. But I have shown them to you in part one, so I'm not gonna dwell here. There's the other carman. Just the tip of his head and nose above the water. The rest of his body is all immersed. And as you can see, there's a heat lamp over him. There's a little water feature, mini waterfall. It's beautifully done. Okay, these ones are another curiosity. Oh, don't go there because the light is not good. They are called blind cave fish. And I'm trying to show you that they actually don't have eyes anymore. They are born with eyes which eventually completely get covered over with their skin without pigment. Just because they don't need them. They live in the waters of caves, in the dark. So... Where are you? Sorry guys, but they are put into this dark red lighty thingy. Again, not a friend of my camera. But they're very interesting. Again, something else to Google if you're interested. Can you see? There's a space there where his eye used to be. But there's no more. Okay. There is something hiding up there. It's a Chinese water dragon. Gorgeous lizard. It's got a massive long tail. <laughs> there you go. Which he uses for loads of things. Just chilling. That's you. Okay. Beautiful looking creature. Again, I'm having problems with the light and the glass, but there we go. I think you can see him pretty well now. And let's show you more or less in one. Okay, I can't do that because he's on a branch, but he's really beautiful. Okay, seabirds and mullets, fish that we know quite well. And they are often on the menu as well. <laughs> they are so pretty though, look at you. Hello. <laughs> I genuinely think that some of them, you know, when they spot a human, they are curious to see. What you doing here? Staring at me. Oh, pretty things. They have a very big tank, so they've got a lot of space to move around. Oops. Yeah, 
And this is a tank with fish that live in colder water. I just had to wipe the condensation away. But my still show. And this little dude there is a long spine scorpion. No, I don't know how to do this so you can actually see him. Oh. That's another one. I think we can see him better. Look at him. He looks grumpy. Supposedly they are quite aggressive. Don't know much about them. And there are some other things I need to find them. Okay. A pretty thing there. It's called the gold sinew russell, something like that. <laughs> you can't really, as I said, the glass has a lot of condensation on, so it's hard to. Come, in, come into the light. Come, come. There you go. Thank you. Okay, we got to see him. More or less. And up on the top of the tank, there is some spiny starfish. They're holding hands. <laughs> and there's one more there. Okay, we can only see just part of them and the side of them, but you can see their white spines. There we go. Uh, okay. I just read that they go, grow, not go, <laughs> quite big. They can grow to the size of a big dustbin lid. Interesting way of <laughs> describing them. Very interesting. Yeah. And we got to a fish tank with almost everyone's favorite little fishies. The clownfish, the common one. And there are some black and white ones. Where did you go, guys? I just saw them. Okay, they will come back. Let's look at you guys. So cute. It's Nemo's family. And there's some nice anemones down there. Oh, there is the black and white one. Gorgeous, absolutely beautiful, all of them. Side by side, so lovely. They are active little creatures. Try to just hold still for a minute and see what's happening.
Going back to this one. He likes his little anemone. Let's zoom on to your little chap. Oh, look at his cute face. He's hiding. <laughs> does behave like he's shy, honestly. Hmm? Okay. Bye-bye, cutie pies. Go see some other things as well. Oh, I don't want to go yet. <laughs> I'll come back and watch you a bit longer. Oh. Okay, more gorgeous colored fishies. These orangey ones are called wreckfish. And hey, where did you go? I saw some other ones. Oh yeah, that one with the blue and black, black stripe in the back. That one is a blue streak cleaner brass. And there is one I've not spotted yet, but it's got a very funny name. It's called a bicolor goatfish. And two thirds is one color, and the back third is a different. So I want to find that little dude. But let's have a proper exploration here. Let's see the corals. Hello. You're beautiful. That's a clean fish. Okay, they've all decided to go far from where I'm standing, <laughs> but I think we can still see them. I've still not spotted that goatfish. I'm curious about him. Blue. Oh, there you are. They've got a big cave there where they can hide and they keep going in, so. I can only assume that that goat fish is in there too. Cool. Let's see what else is there. More colorful ones. These ones are called the small mouse squirrel. <laughs> Strange name for a fish. And what else is in here? Let's see.
These ones are hiding in the dark as well. Come out, guys. Cute. Very brightly colored. Thank you for coming to pose. <laughs> oh, you're adorable. <laughs> oh, excuse my squealing, but I'm just really enjoy looking at them. <laughs> There's one hiding down there. Oh, come on, there. Beautiful. Okay. See those. Here are some gorgeous lionfish. Look at them. Stunning. They're beautiful. Sadly, there is all sorts of lights and whatnot interfering. They're venomous creatures on those spikes, you can see. They can give their prey a sting. And they like gobbling up pretty much anything that they can fit into their mouth. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And this little dude. Oh, hold on, hold on. You're too fast. This one is called the Leaf Lip Grouper. There you are. You want to see you? You're cute. Look at your beautiful skin. Yeah. No, I'm running around like a crazy <laughs> around the fish. They're following the fish. Uh, what? Well, Okay, there is the poisonous beauty and another one there. Is there anything else to be seen in this tank? I don't know. Should be some eels. But they've not spotted them yet. Okay, a different shot. Oh, oh look at you. Wow. It's big. Okay, guys, this is the last bit I'm filming for part two. I'm going to end here with the lionfish. Um, there is going to be a part three because <laughs> I'm not done looking at the beautiful sea creatures. So please look out for the next video. It's going to be probably uploaded a week or two later than this one. And I hope you enjoyed it. At least half as much as I did. Because <laughs> I'm having a ball here. Anyway, wish you all a really good day and uh, see you in the next part of the Wanderings at the Aquarium. Bye!